Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. As we have started a GitHub tutorial series and we're in the ending of this series. And in this video, I will show you that how we'll make a report for our GitHub's design. I mean GitHub's work, how we'll make our report. First of all, I'll open my eTabs and also open my previous model. Here, this is our previous model, and if you are connected to me in our tutorial series, then you know about this model, and if you're new here. You can watch my previous video because I have described about ETAPS 2016 from basic level to advanced level almost I have described about everything here so to make your report first of all we have to run our model so by clicking here we'll run our model it's done so now we have to go here file from here file and we'll go down here create report from here we'll go here create report then there are two options show project report show summary report and here advance so from here if we select that option it will show full project report and if we use that option it will show only summary report so we'll use show project report click and wait for some time here you are seeing that report viewer you are seeing here it helps make a project report the total page is 91 so I'll zoom it here this is the chapter this is the chapter structure data properties as assignment load I mean which types of load we have applied it analysis result list of tables here and here you will find your wall data so if you go down if you go down here you will find about here about seismic data for your seismic analysis you'll find your seismic data they are showing its, its seismic, seismic data and also here you will find your wind data mean depart wind coefficient and if you go also in down you go more down go more down down here and down here so from here you can find your record every data from your table and if you want to save it in your computer for that you have to click here you can using that option print here what you can save it export to word document so you have to click here and you have to save that where you want to save it so by clicking save you can save that let's suppose I will save it in 
my desktop save it wait for some time it's adding saving my document need some time for that and uh, like that way so it's save to desktop if you have to go here here is the project you can double click here here is my report so here is our project report you will find every data what you required from here so that's why you can find out your project report and thank you thank you very much yes well stay connected till next video and if you think that this video have a little bit helpful for you then you press the like button so that i can understand it is helpful for you thank you